Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Story Toad, and today I'm gonna be talking about sun gazing. Um, so first, I'm gonna explain how it works. Actually, um, you see, sunlight is ethereal. Okay, it operates on the thought plane more than the physical world, but because it's such, it's at a such, it's at such a high vibration in the ethereal plane. It's also at a high vibration and emits light in the physical plane. That's what photons do. They're an ethereal thing. Photons are just very ethereal, and because they're at a high vibration, they embody light. So, yeah, because a high vibration is genuinely light. So, yeah, um, that's why it works. And also, sunlight creates M-state auramus in dirt, and that's why plants Plants have M-state auramus in them, and what it does is it can lock you into a high vibration. That's It brings your vibration up, at least sunlight brings your vibration up. I've never had M-state auramus, but sunlight brings your vibration up and then semi-locks it in place. Semi, because you can always sink back down into a low vibration, but it semi-locks you in place. So if nothing too terrible happens to put you in a low vibration again, and you're locked in place. So, um, just looked at the clock. It's 5.33. I, there's, there's always a synchronicity. Always. Um, yeah, so sun gazing will lock your vibration in place as well as bring it up. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure M-State Ormus actually just locks it in place. I don't know if it brings your vibration up at all. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to explain how to do it, finally, now that I've given you a two-minute a tell of what it is. So, what, how you're going to do it is, when you first start, wear sunglasses and do it for about one minute at sunrise or sunset. Do not do it when the sun is in the middle of the sky and it's very bright, because at sunrise and sunset, it's not that bright. Its brightness is less because it's further away and there's more magnetic energy holding the light back. So, yeah, you're always going to want to do it at sunrise or sunset. And on the next day, just squint your eyes. Don't wear sunglasses. Or maybe do wear sunglasses on the second day. Um, but do it for two minutes this time while wearing sunglasses at sunrise or sunset. Or both. Um, then the next day, just squint your eyes and don't wear sunglasses while you're doing your sun gazing. While you're doing your sun gazing. Um, it's always at sunrise or sunset. Never, ever do it in the afternoon. Um, yeah, and then after about the fourth day, you're going to have your eyes a little bit more opened, about like that, I think. And then the fifth day, it's going to be easier. You're going to have your eyes like that. And it's going to put you in a better mood because it's raising your vibration and semi-locking it in place. Um, and it'll clear your nasals out for some reason. And also when you do it, you can feel the energy coming in through your eyes. And then you feel a tingling at your third eye point. And then you feel it going through the center of your brain. And that, like the center of your brain. And then it comes out the back of your head. So you feel a tingle here, here, and inside your brain. Um, and then you start to feel energy coming out your uh, crown chakra. And then after that, normally, I feel it in my heart chakra. It's kind of a, it's not love or hate that I feel from looking at the sun. It's more of a different emotion that I can't explain and has no name. Um, and then, then you feel a tingling in your solar plexus chakra. And that gives you a certain feeling as well that I really can't explain. And then the sacral chakra and then the root chakra. A bunch of different feelings for different chakras. Um, that all kind of get mixed together, and then you start feeling energy going all throughout your torso. You start feeling your chakras actually bringing energy up and out through your crown chakra, and you'll you also, if you already have an open third eye, might also be easier to see how the energy flows through your uh, your body. Yeah, that's. That's it. That's the whole video. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. If you did not like this video, then that sucks. I hope you did. If you did, 
leave a like. If you didn't, don't leave a like. Um, yeah, this is Stellar Toad. Goodbye.